everybody welcome back to the next video of electrostatics so today we'll be discussing about electrostatic field now previously we have discussed about electrostatic force in which we have learned that if there are two charges separated by a particular distance then there is a gradual force of attraction or repulsion between them depending upon the nature of the charge now let me make that situation again here over suppose if i am having two charges q1 and q2 if they are separated by a finite distance r then the electrostatic force between them was given by k q1 q2 by r square okay that was the electrostatic force now what will happen if i separate the two charges to a infinite distance okay if i separate the two charges to a infinite distance then the force would gradually turn out to be zero right it would approach towards zero as the distance increases because it's inversely proportional so at a particular infinite distance there would be no force of attraction or repulsion between the two charges so the force is limited to a factor of distance now this is where we can bring out the discussion of electrostatic field now what is electrostatic field here so to understand electrostatic field now let me give you a situation where we have placed q2 the charge q2 at infinite distance so i have written it as infinity and q1 is somewhere here okay now since the distance between the two charges is infinite hence there will be no force between them okay now to make the uh, illustration a bit simpler let me consider q1 to be of positive nature and let me consider q2 to be of negative nature so what will happen if i now start bringing q2 closer to q1 since it's at infinity there is no force suppose i try bringing him towards q1 okay now at particular point okay after crossing a particular region suppose if we cross this region if q2 comes across the boundary we will start noticing that q2 starts getting a attractive force towards q1 okay so that happens when we cross a particular region and that particular region around which he can get or he can feel that force of attraction that region okay is known as the electric field for discharge okay so that region under which the secondary charge experiences a force of attraction or repulsion depending upon its nature that force is termed as the electrostatic field of the static charge okay that is what we simply mean by electrostatic field now now let us try to understand the expression for electrostatic field okay so between two charges separated by distance r the expression for force was given by k q1 q2 by r square and we have come to know that the force is limited to a finite region now if the distance turns out to be infinity that there is no force and once we start closing on in the gap the force starts getting bigger and bigger okay now taking that definition into account let me say if i am having a charge q over here let me take it as q1 itself it would have a particular region around which the secondary charge or any other particular charge when brought inside that region would experience a force so for any point in this region for any point surrounding this region if i place any secondary charge he is going to experience a force so let me say if i bring a charge over this point what is the exact force he is going to experience so that force would be governed by his field now what is the expression for the field let me try to understand that expression so for any point which is around that region of existence of electric field let me consider the distance to be x okay so at this particular point if i need to write down the expression for electric field then the electric field for this particular charge okay the expression for electric field would be given by k q1 by x square so that is what is the expression for electric field would be now if you break down this expression it would look like as q1 by 4 by epsilon not r square considering the medium to be air or vacuum this is what the expression would look like okay so for any distance any random point inside this region for any arbitrary distance suppose x dash if you are asked to write down the electric field at the point p then that electric field will be again written as k q1 by 
x x square okay so that is how we write down the expression for electric field next up we need to understand what is the direction of this electric field since electric field just like electrostatic force is a vector quantity so writing the expression would only give us the magnitude now we need to understand what would be the direction of the electric field at these particular points so to understand the direction let me first say you what is the direction for electric field regarding a positive charge and a negative charge so now let us discuss about the direction of electric field for a particular charge okay so we'll discuss it for a positive charge as well as a negative charge so historically speaking for a positive charge the electric field direction is always radially outward from the charge okay the field is directed radially outward and as we get farther away from the charge the strength of the electric field will decrease okay so that is for a positive charge now for a negative charge it's exactly the opposite so for a negative charge the electric field direction is radially inward okay so the field is directed towards the charge from all direction okay this is what the direction of electric field is for a negative charge now what would have happen if we place a positive charge and a negative charge within close vicinity within close reaching distance from each other so that kind of a system is actually known as a dipole on if and only if both the charges are having equal magnitude and opposite in direction so you're not discussing exactly a dipole for the time being we'll just talk about any two random charges one being of positive nature the other being of negative nature and kept at a very close distance from each other what would happen let's see that okay so we'll discuss the situation over here itself now if i see i have a positive charge q1 suppose here and a negative charge q2 over here okay they are at close distance now since you have to keep in mind the direction of their individual fields for him the direction for fields would be away and for him the direction of the fields would be into him okay so the field would be coming away from him and going into this okay this is how the direction of electric field would look like okay now all the field lines would emerge out from the positive charge and the same field lines would enter to the negative charge where is the point of the maximum strength of electric field now that depends on the density of the field lines the region where the density of the field lines is more that is where the electric field strength would be higher and the region where the density of the field lines is pretty less that is the region where the strength of the field would be less okay so that is what happens when you place two opposite nature charge within very close range from each other this is the direction of electric field now for a dipole we'll be discussing that when we discuss about dipole as well